what's going on everybody today is bush cooking again we're going to have a little chicken neck we're going to have some pork loin i'm going to do some bird in some coconut shell make it get a little tender then put it back on the grill so that it darkens up and that meat brings out all of that smoke flavor as well in there so stay tuned back in the bush another day trying to get some bird hunting bird season 2022 in jamaica bless up Today we're back again doing some cooking in the bush. Just left bird bush to shoot. It's two weeks until the end of bird bush, so the shoots typically aren't as good as they are earlier in the season. But we got some birds, we're going to cook them up. Light that up and it's a quick light, a lot good. Burning through the night. Now that Bob Marley said. Mm -hmm. Yeah man. So we use what you would put under the chafing pan to keep the heat as an accelerant once you light that and put the logwood over it, you get, you get the fire burning quicker. You can hear it start to pop already. a logwood fire that's burning logwood is a wood that is known in jamaica or was known in jamaica as a wood that would make people rich it is a piece of lumber that used to be harvested in like black river and it was sent down the river and then sent it shipped to england it's used for dyes and in particular it's used for a black dye or for i believe a blue and a black blue dye as well it's also called bloodwood because the wood itself, the middle of it is red. The outside has a grey bark and the inside is red. But it used to be shipped to England from Black River and it was said that many English people used to come to Jamaica and to the Caribbean to basically risk their lives to export this lumber because of the amount of money they were making from it. It's also not indigenous to Jamaica. It's said to be come from Mexico and I believe another part of Central America, Mexico is the general area where it's said to believe to have come from and brought over by the Spanish. We're going to be cooking on logwood. Logwood keep the fire burning. Bob Marley sing about this fire, blaze hot immense heat but also flavor whatever we're cooking on it throw it out on as well yeah man see the flavor yeah pimento and pimento berry and bag full of pimento leaf and pimento berries anything where I cook I forget to soak sound like we're grilling some bird today a piece of pork tenderloin just gone on So that was soaked in some of the orange that we picked right here and it's just going to sit there and go and you have the pimento with the logwood so you're going to smoke it with the pimento leaves so we can get bossy thin the line we just catch up now Put some pimento on top of it, pimento leaf and a logwood to hold on the leaves so that smoke filters right into the tenderloin. So you're going to get that smoky flavor along with that seasoning with the orange juice that have penetrated into it. It's just marinated in that fresh orange juice. Ah, 
Enggak, mau. Enggak, mau. One more walk, it's time for some orange, but looks impossible. Whoa, 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 Ricks. Shut up. Freshly squeezed out in is what I'm having for breakfast. Pick two orange and squeeze them up. Pick this one. Pick a green so I can turn the pork. Hey, mom. Wow. Wow. This pork is oh, Yeah, I'm on extra crispy. So this is the chicken neck that we're putting on now. Look at onion, some spices, and we're sorting orange juice as well. The smell of the onion starting to rise again. Start to rise and then you have the pigmentous flavor from the leaves. The dry leaf or the green leaf just like that, giving off that smoke. It's like 96 degrees outside and rain just start fall and I did check the phone and it did say rain was going to fall. So rain was going to fall three hours from now. I me tell everybody say yo from me I pick the right forest and never right yet so I'm gonna watch the weather like that. Well then it's a rain of fall and sun and shine, see it on any wife I fight for my crew. on a cutting board. Cut piece of coconut. Cut piece of jelly. Yeah, yeah man, let's chop one side in half. A cutting board, yeah, man. Come on. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah man, so we don't have any cutting board. So we have to use a piece of the coconut as a cutting board. This is probably too graphic for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the bird has to be washed and cleaned. There are parts of the bird that may taste bitter, such as the bitter gall, which has to come out. And also the seeds, what they eat can cause the meat to become bitter.
the hindrance. It is a brace and that is the part. If you look at it, it's not very fat. It, it's not very fat. It has a lot of lean on it. So it can become very tough. So you have to be careful how you cook it. Well, I know that. Yeah, we get two of them leaves there. Separate the right just from the thigh and the breast. Stuff it with a little pimento, a little seasoning. So a little pimento, a little onion, just a little cut from the breast down to the thigh, stuff it in there. Make everything go and season and soak right in there. And do the same thing for this and the rest of them. The seasoning, the pimento leaf, touch another seasoning, little onion. Right now, I'm going to like ball for a scotch bonnet pepper right now. You know how oh, the scotch is done for me. That's it, you know, bird stuffed, ready for the grill. Yeah, man, same thing for this one. Getting at the rib cage. Uh, that meat is right down to the leg. Get right in there. Get the cloudy pimento leaf again. The cloudy seasoning. And stuff it right in there. My wife, I got kill me for out on that table. I'm gonna go blame it on somebody else. Don't you go see the video? I know, Sammy. So, final touch. Put a piece of orange in there. Check out any gaminess. Add a little citrus flavor to it. Go well with. Tell you, say, is a reason when I never see me cook yet, you know. You know, hey, do ramp with me. One spoon. If you skillful catch it like that, you know. <laughs> One part I can just hook off, you know. There you go, one cup coming out, waste the jelly. I just drink it and cook it, but look okay, everybody I eat from the pot. Yeah, man. It's a plate where I got used for the bird, right, man, I'm done.
Yes, man. Good shot. Bush with her. That probably the coconut shells that crack up now. Hopefully we can heat down in it. Just have a makeshift. So that smoke is just coming through and pouring out from under there so you know the bird, the neck and also the pork is going to have immense smoke flavor from that pimento, from that logwood and also from that orange that just went in there. Look at all the smoke gathering in there and just circulating all of that meat. You hear that? So behind me I can literally I can literally hear rain coming off of the hill. I think it's time to pack up. We're gonna have to let that smoke. It's under zinc, hopefully it won't get too wet. Um some of the food, here comes the drops. Some of the food is pretty much done the neck, also the pork. So here it starts coming down, you know, but it roaring off of the hill like a whole heap about to come. Mark! Here comes the rain again. John, I'm gonna have the bird and the food from the grill. Raw. The smell is incredible. Smelling pork, smelling chicken. Oh man. Yeah, man. That's what we do. Look at that. It's beautiful. And a little more orange juice on it. To lighten it. So the orange juice add flavor but it also steam it inside so it stays moist and juicy and adds a little flavor of that acidic sweet but a little sour because it not ripe green orange and then the whistling start Some of that went right down into the bird as well. We saw one underneath now. Yes, man. See the brown up. Nice, nice. That bird is looking good. Yeah man. So the shell is protecting it from the raw fire itself. So that's why you see the fire came over, darken up the outside, crisp up the belly a little bit, but on the inside it's still supposed to moist and juicy. So that's why we also added the oranges into it. Mm. Perfect money, awesomeness. It's so juicy and bouncy still. All right, I know I can't cut no more. Come here, look on that. See that nice back on the outside. Look at that. Smell like smoke, smell like pimento. Yeah man. This. 
the smoke penetrates right through and the ring around it, this bark I don't know what I have Vib season it with but trust me mm -mm. really good, really delectable, really enjoyable succulent pork line yeah man, season just right now I run up my pressure in the bush You wanna come in now? Come in like this. Yo, come in like this. You taste pepper right now. The after effect of some pepper is there. Yeah man. That just touch. And it, it have a nice after flavor that just linger with the pepper. The heat just mellow and smooth. There's nothing that is overbearing or just overpowering. Let me have a draw for a juice or a draw for a jelly right now, but I tell you, these parts right here. That's where all of the flavor is, all of that. Right there. How many wanna eat? Hmm? Yeah. This part, flavor, that is cracking out. So juicy it still is. It's cooked just perfectly with all of that smoke that went into it. That has formed just flavor around the outside. And on the inside, it's tender, it's moist, and it's just let me just tell you it just embodied with flavor I mean the seasoning is just soaked perfectly that citrus flavor though that orange juice that was on it the acid brings out a different flavor with the pork pork and citrus or some, some sort of acid always goes well it neutralizes the meat and just gives it a, that bit of a flavor that just excites it a little more Spanish countries they use a lot of citrus in their pork when they're doing a pig or even a suckling pig They'll actually marinate it in oranges or some sort of citrus But this the flavor soak right down into it still tender still, still juicy immense pimento smoke flavor and Just very delectable, very very enjoyable very satisfying mm -hmm. What is it Kirky? Flavorful. First piece that's so nice we demolish it. We have to go in for another piece right now. Yeah man. That spit are nice. Get it out man. We need it right now. See all of that flavor up on the outside. Yeah man. Create him. I'll put them over. Nice. Them are soon ready for four hours after, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, that one almost ready. See all the juice I'm coming out down there as well. Coming along nicely, yeah. We're ready. Ready. That one definitely can come off. So this is what makes it tender. All those juices that in there, it keeps it from burning as well. And you see, that's why I didn't use a green. Sorry, I didn't use a dry coconut. Use a young one. That one that's fresh. So I want with this now. Yeah man, cooked right through. And I must take it right apart. Orange is still in there. Hopefully most of that flavor went into the chest. Pimento leaves and the onion. Oh look at that. That's a gravy off of it. That's supposed to have a lot of flavor. I'm going to dip some of that as a sauce. So this will be the sauce to rehydrate it, see? 
on this one. Smell the pimento, reeking havoc, and all of that good stuff. Yeah, man. So, if you look right here, you still see that pimento and onion that's supposed to have put the flavor into the breast. All of that coming out there. Try a piece of that now. All right, so I'm going to try the first one that was in the coconut and cook down with a little jelly and stuff in there. I don't know if we should start breast or leg and tie. Smoky, right off the bat. Mm. The orange, the orange has turned this into a flavor bomb. The citrus with the black pepper, that spice, that hum, and the pimento, chicken neck, barbecue chicken neck. Mm. I've had three different type of meats. We had the pork, we have the chicken neck, and we have the bird, and the citrus. Citrus heightened the flavor of all of them. It really tastes good. It, it have just a nice mellow tone that is somewhat of a citrus mint, is how I would explain it, where it, it just hums that little mellow flavor like a mint would, but it's citrus and it's the orange you're tasting. And the flavor really, really brings out a more juicy pork, a more flavorful hear me turkey neck I love turkey neck flavorful chicken neck well everybody it's been an awesome day in the bush the rain coming again it's time to head back into the bush see if we can get something done before this rain starts to pour down on us but thank you everybody for the support thank you for watching and as always stay blessed big up one love <laughs>